Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're doing very well. I'm glad you're here, and we are taking a look at a grasshopper script that shows the basic fields and how you can use those in the example of the MSA team um, of the University of Mazataran, the pavilion number two. It was completed in December of 2017. According to parametricarchitecture.com, the pavilion contains about 1260 cardboard pipes and 810 meters of string that are connected at the end of the pipes and are moved from the top to the bottom. So what the goal here is to understand the basic form of the pavilion and how exactly a shape like this can be done. For that we are using Grasshopper, which is a native plugin inside the Rhino 6 environment. And with that it is a great way to parameterize shapes and thoughts in the physical or in the virtual form. You can basically use it for a lot of things of 3D representation and also can take data out there that you can use for other purposes as well. So here I'm sketching out my basic ideas of how I personally think of how this pavilion works. I didn't talk to those people, I don't know exactly how exactly the sinus function works and stuff, but you basically have a grid of those pipes that are hanging by a distance from the top of the pavilion and then it gets suspended by a certain amount that kind of relates to the surroundings. It looks kind of like a sinus curve, however in our approach we are trying it in a different method. Uh, I tried out with the graphs and stuff and I kind of got confused, so we just stick to fields for the moment. And yeah, that's basically seeing me here fiddling around a little bit but then going another way. There are always different ways of getting to your goal in the end, so if you use fields or just a tractor point or several tractor points, what it basically wants is 1260, in this case, pipes that we can use in our field here. So magnetic, magnetic fields, if you're basically thinking about a field, I mean, you might have had it in a physics class, um, you have a different, like, you can, you have a field in the x and the y direction and um, there's a magnetic field there everywhere and you can set different points for example in our case that um, enhance the field into one of two directions basically. Obviously you can choose any points you want but in this case it's a simple grid that we defined beforehand we just laid on top of this magnetic field and thus we get values from minus one to one I think or zero to one. When defining the starting grid and the end points we can define a line through it pipe it and then from the end point define a circle which then get just extruded by the z direction. In the example it looks kind of each carpet pipe has the same length thus we will not throw any way any more like parametric ideas or parametric uh, lengths on it. They are just one size and they stick to this one size and we take the same. Furthermore we need to add the strings for the top of the pavilion and design the beam that, that they connect together. And that's it. You can download the script at the GitHub and link below. There's an description, just link, just click on the uh, date of today, uh, or like 29th uh, of November 2020. And then there's a link of some name, like Pipes Pavilion. And um, yeah, feel free to use it in your projects. You can use it whatever you want, it's totally fine. Um, if you see some more stuff, please like let me know. If you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments, it would be great. Uh, it's obviously a great simplified script and just covers the basic geometry and nothing else more um, and doesn't go into the specific process of how we can show those things but it's a good start at least. So yeah, and in the end some things that I would like to have better do is actually stick close to the original shape uh, make it like more of looking like a sinus function instead of just like setting four fields and then say ah, good enough, you know. Um, yeah, and uh, it's also an interesting outcome, however, it might have been better to stick to the original plan anyway. Good, so thank you very much. I hope you had a fantastic day, a fantastic weekend, and enjoy your week, enjoy everything, and keep learning Grasshopper and whatever programming language you might want to use. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.